Nice to see you here. Hoping you and family are keeping safe. Will you please subscribe? The southern right whale is a baleen whale, one of three species classified as right whales. Approximately 10,000 southern right whales are spread throughout the southern part of the southern hemisphere. Like other right whales, the southern right whale is readily distinguished from others by the callosities on its head, a broad back without a dorsal fin, and a long arching mouth that begins above the eye. Its skin is very dark grey or black, occasionally with some white patches on the belly. The right whale's callosities appear white due to large colonies of cyamids. It is almost indistinguishable from the closely related North Atlantic and the North Pacific right whales, displaying only minor skull differences. It may have fewer callosities on its head than North Atlantic and more on its lower lips than the two northern species. The biological functions of callosities are unclear, although the primal role has been considered to be for protection against predators. Right whales do not normally cross the warm equatorial waters to connect with the other species and, interbreed, their thick layers of insulating blubber make it difficult for them to dissipate their internal body heat in tropical waters. The proportion and numbers of molten-colored individuals are notable in this species compared with the other species in the northern hemisphere. Some whales remain white even after growing up. The southern right whale spends summer in the far southern ocean feeding, probably close to Antarctica. If the opportunity arises, feeding can occur even in temperate waters such as along Buenos Aires. It migrates north in winter for breeding and can be seen by the coasts of Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Chile, Namibia, Mozambique, Peru, Tristan da Cunha, Uruguay, Madagascar, New Zealand, and South Africa. However, whales have been known to winter on subantarctic regions. Other than sheltered and calm waters, carving grounds have been identified close to high wave coastal areas, vicinity to land cliffs and deep waters where sounds of waves may prevent predators' acoustic searches for infants and calving cows, and deep areas close to shallows may function as training grounds for calves to prepare for upcoming migrations to feeding grounds. Aside from impacts on whales and environments caused by mankind, their distributions and residences could be largely affected by presences of natural predators or enemies, and similar trends are also expectable for other subspecies. Many locations throughout the Southern Hemisphere were named after current or former presences of Southern rights, including Wolvis Bay, Punta Balena, Right Whale Bay, Otago Harbor, Farnaray Harbor, Fovo Strait, South Taranaki Bight, Motahora Island, and Wineglass Bay. One possibly significant contributor to the calf mortality rate has alarmed scientists, since at least 1996, kelp gulls off the coast of Patagonia have been observed attacking and feeding on live right whales. The kelp gull uses its powerful beak to peck down several centimeters into the skin and blubber, often leaving the whales with large open sores, some of which have been observed to be half a meter in diameter. This predatory behavior, primarily targeted towards mother-slash-calf pairs, has been continually documented in Argentinian waters, and continues today. Observers note that the whales are spending up to a third of their time and energy performing evasive maneuvers, therefore, mothers spend less time nursing, and the calves are thinner and weaker as a result. Researchers speculate that many years ago, waste from fish processing plants allowed the gull populations to soar. Their resulting overpopulation, combined with reduced waste output, caused the gulls to seek out this alternative food source. Scientists fear that the gulls' learned behavior could proliferate, and the IWC Scientific Committee has urged Brazil to consider taking immediate action if and when similar gull behavior is observed in their waters. Such action may include the removal of attacking gulls, following Argentina's lead in attempting to reverse the trend. Did you like this video? I will look forward to see you pretty soon. Till then, take care and be positive.